Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D, your best resource for all things 3D printing related. As you guys know, most of my videos are based around the questions that you guys have or troubleshooting or installation or reviews, whatever you guys ask for, majority of my videos are based around that. So lately I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of questions on how to cut models to make it into pieces, therefore you can print it based on what printer you have. because. Most people that are new will print directly off what they download from Thingiverse or Mini, My Mini Factory or other websites like that. But what happens when you've been printing for a while and you want to go bigger? Or what if you want something that's only two inches but you want to make it six but your printer's not capable of printing the whole thing at one time? So that's what I'm going to go over today, guys. I'm going to try to keep it simple, sweet, and short, and we'll go from there. So the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and download Mesh Mixer. For those of you that don't have Mesh Mixer, I will put a link down below uh, from my previous video on how to download that. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open it up. Once you open it up, you want to go ahead and click on that import button and it'll bring up this little box of where you downloaded your STL. So you find your file that you want to go ahead and slice. Click on it. And today we're just going to go ahead and go with Goku, okay? Because most people are familiar with them, so that's why I'm going to go with them. So if you notice, the printer here is not the printer you have. It's the MakerBot, unless you have this one. So I'm going to be printing on the CR10. And for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and try to print something double the size of what the printer is capable of. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is set the diameters uh, so your model fits in exactly what's going on. So if you click right up here, you'll notice a list of printers that show up. But for me, the Creality is not on here. So what I'm going to do is click on Printers, click on Add here. I'm going to go ahead and put Creality CR10 as far as the model. Now, you need to input the diameters of the printer. So the Creality is 300 by 300 by 400. And then you just go ahead and hit Add. And now if you notice here, the Creality actually shows up. So you go ahead and click on that little button there. CR10s right there and watch what happens to the build surface of the printer here. Once I click on it, it changes. So let's go ahead and minimize that by hitting the arrow. So let's take a closer look. So if you notice the build surface has changed. So now I have 300 by 300 by 400 height wise. So now we can actually start working on the model. So we need to move the model to the center and then resize it and make it bigger. Alright guys, for the purpose of this video what I'm going to do is print this model twice the size of the CR10. So CR10 is capable of printing at 400 height uh, in millimeters, of course. I'm going to try to print this in 800. So what you want to do, first we want to center it and we want to raise uh, or resize the model to how big we want it. So you're going to click on the model, nothing's really going to show up. Then you're going to go to edit, and then you're going to go to transform, and then this little menu will pop up. So here, you just move it front or back, this is up or down, and this is to turn it at an angle, whichever way you want. So if you notice, when I turn it here with my cursor being inside the circle, uh, it moves it in 0.1 measurements or increments. But if I go outside or right at the edge of the circle, it does 0.5. So I'm going to put it at 90. Okay, And just to let you know, guys, even if this is not touching the bed, it's not a problem. Once you slice the model and import it into Kira, it will automatically drop it to the bed. But I like to get it as close as possible to the bed. The only reason is because this way I know what the exact height's going to be on it. So even if it's off by a little bit, not a big deal. Okay, so we got our model standing in the position that we want. Everything's moved exactly. Now we need to size it to the size we want. So if you notice here, the top part, X, Y, and Z, is the position of the model. Down here is the size of it. So we're going to click on Z, and I'm going to change it to 800 because Kira is 400 limit as far as millimeter in height or Z height, and I'm going to make it double the size. Once you enter that at end, don't hit enter. Go ahead and click outside of it, and I'll resize it. Okay. So there's my model. You can see the printer is right here. My model is bigger, so I'm just going to resize it, put it right up here. And I'm going to hit accept. So now... If you guys don't have a CR10 and you have something smaller like the Ender 3, this isn't going to work for you, right? Because you can't print this whole huge piece. So again, we're going to click on the model, click Transform, 
and I just like to move the model to where it sits on the bed like you know how I would like it so this leg is what we're gonna be cutting okay and that's sitting exactly where I want it it's on the print bed inside the printer diameters I'm gonna hit accept so the type of cuts that we do is something called actually there's one type it's called plain cut but there's two ways you can do it the first way again you just go to edit and you're gonna do plain cut and this little menu will pop up or this little I don't know what you actually call it mesh wire whatever it is and that tells you that this model will be cut at this level or at this height now if you notice the top model will be solid and the other model will be like a ghost effect so you can see right through it okay um, also if you notice if you click on it my maximum is at roughly around 400 so when I bring it down it tells me exactly what my Z height is going to be so I'm going to cut this right about here okay so this is the important thing here guys on this little box right here it says plain cut it says discard half so if I leave it like that and I hit accept, it's going to throw this part away, which we don't want it to do. So what we want to do is click here and keep both. Okay, so this way when we cut it, it'll keep both. So typically you're going to think this will be one piece and this will be another. That is not the case here. You're going to hit accept. After you hit accept, you have to go to edit and separate shells. Once you do that, you'll notice you got your original piece right here, first one second one is the right leg third one is the left leg and this one um, sometimes there's a little tiny piece that we cut somewhere and it's there I can't exactly tell because it's so tiny so that happens sometimes but don't worry about it okay so I got one piece here one piece here and one piece at the top now why is it doing it in three pieces instead of or why is it doing four pieces instead of just two because this leg isn't connected to anything so this leg has to be its own piece this is its own STL file and then the top is its own STL file so what you want to do is you want to either click on the model or you can click in here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the right leg and then to e export this guys all you gotta do is click on export save it wherever you want the main thing is you make sure you save it as a STL binary format okay so once you do that you can come in here select the model and delete it okay and once you delete it then you can click on the main model again and again we're gonna click on edit transform to bring it back down and move it over okay so here we have the model set again and we're just gonna repeat the process so this is the very first way of doing it you just move it to I'm sorry uh, you just move it to wherever you want by going to edit plain cut and you move this at whatever angle you want back and forth or you can move it at whatever angle as far as degrees now here's the tricky part so what about the arm okay so this is how we're gonna do the second part so if I go to just cut the arm you'll notice it cuts a little bit of the leg piece here and a little bit of the hair up here so how do we avoid that and just get the arm part cut okay well that's very easy the second way you can cut something is if you go to select right here zoom in a little bit highlight where you want it to cut okay so I'm gonna put it right there and then you go to edit and you're gonna go to plain cut okay once you do that even though if you notice here it's cutting a piece of the leg out say right there so you got the piece of the waist right here and a little piece of the hair so it's not gonna cut cut that because we only selected this area here we're gonna keep both hit accept and then you got to go back to edit and you got to separate shells so if you notice now the body is still intact even though we cut it right here so you got your this little piece I still don't know what it is so I'm just gonna delete that uh, we got the top to the bottom which is the first whole piece and then the arm is by itself so what you can do is just export the arm by itself save it now if you need to cut the arm some more you can import just that file so you know what let me just go ahead and save it so you guys can see what I'm talking about so we're gonna save it there binary format perfect okay and then I'm just gonna delete it 
So now we can continue cutting. Again, you're just going to go to edit. Sorry, you got to select the model. You're going to click on edit, plain cut, cut it however you want. And again, if you just want to cut like a section of it, so we're going to go to plain cut. And if you just want to cut a section of it again, we're just going to turn it and just cut what we need. We can do the arm that way. You can cut the body in half, however you want. Now, if I cut it here, it's going to keep that as one piece. And this arm is going to be a second piece. And this is going to be a third piece. But again, with the arm, uh, we don't want it to be cut that way. Or you can cut it that way, however you want. Just make sure this part, you keep both. Okay, so let's say you cut everything, everything's good to go, but one of the pieces that you cut does not fit on the board. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring that one right back in. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved it. Okay, so here's the arm that we had cut originally, and it's going to keep the size that we had set it at. So there's your arm right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, edit, transform, and like I said, you just bring it close to the bed just so you know what your Z height is going to be. And you can do the same thing again. Just hit accept. Go to plane cut. And it's going to cut the arm right there. Again, very important. Keep both pieces. Hit accept. Nothing happens. Edit. Separate shells. And now you have two pieces. And the good thing about this is since it's cut flat, you can actually put that on Kira flat so it'll work out or in simplified 3D. Alright guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Hopefully I can get you guys printing bigger models now. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave it down and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, for those of you that know a different way of slicing the models, please share it down below. Uh, let's share the wealth of knowledge with the community here. Let's, let's grow together. So with that said, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, you know, it is what it is. Give it a down. Uh, if you want to support the channel, guys, that would be very, very much appreciated. We'll put some links down below. And like always, good luck and happy printing.